Welcome to OneIO's guide on integrating ServiceNow and Jira. Let's start by creating a Jira endpoint in OneIO. Head to the Endpoints tab and add a new endpoint. Scroll through our list of readily available endpoints and select Jira. After naming the endpoint, log in to Jira to copy your root address from the address bar in your browser. Now you're ready to configure Jira. We recommend that you create a new user account on Jira for the purposes of this integration. OneIO's whitelist filter ensures that only relevant messages are sent from Jira to OneIO. To set up the whitelist filter in OneIO, in Jira, open the integration user profile and copy the user ID from the URL. In OneIO, paste the user ID into the inbound whitelist filter where specified. Now we need to configure the issue types. In this example, we're using the entity type, incident and service request. In Jira, navigate to the issues window. Edit the record and grab the issue type ID from the URL. Back in OneIO, paste this ID number beside the relevant entity type. Now copy the remaining IDs for the required objects. To add more entity types, click plus resolving type. Next, we need to configure a webhook in Jira. In OneIO, you can generate a token for the webhook or you can copy the complete webhook URL to speed up the process. On Jira, open the webhooks page from the system menu. Create a new webhook in Jira and give it a name. Now paste the full webhook URL you copied from OneIO. In this window, you can also filter events with a JQL statement. In order for your integration to work successfully, you must select the following checkboxes. Now hit create and you're done. Now Jira is configured to send messages to OneIO. To send messages from OneIO to Jira, we need to generate an API token as an integration user on Jira. In this section, add the username of the integration user on Jira. To do this, you have to log into the integration user account and head to account management. From the account management section, select security and follow the steps to create a new API token. Give your API token a name and copy the password. Paste the API token password into OneIO and save changes. Now your integration is ready to test. To test, create a new incident in Jira. And if successful, you can see the incident from our message feed on OneIO. Now that Jira is connected to OneIO, it's ready to communicate with the rest of the tools in your ITSM ecosystem.